Yeah. You see what it is. Uncle Bolkow in the building. Mrs. Bolkow with me, of course. And we're back at it again. Giving you the best pod reviews on YouTube besides Johnny Scoville and a couple other people. This right here. Butch Taylor. That's the Butch T. Scorpion. Okay. Now, guess who hasn't eaten this pepper? Eaten. Is it eating or eating? <laughs> guess who ain't? Guess who ain't eating this pepper in the past two months? Me. Guess who has ate this pepper at least two times a week for the past two months? Her. <laughs> I actually have a plant of this at work. Um, and uh, it's just... It's, it's, I don't know, it's, it's a, it's a rescue plant, man. I bought it for a couple bucks and it throws pods off, but they're just, they're not as nice looking as this. <clears throat> and, um, they're a little bit small, but like every week, you know, I just kind of like take a Ziploc and go out there and pick the peppers. And there's a couple different varieties. I've I got. like all your peppers you've grown. They all have good flavors. Yeah, but I just, I don't have good sunlight. I don't have a good place to grow. We live in a city. We live in a condo. We don't have a lot of sunlight. So I have peppers out front. And yeah, some of ours got no light on us. Yeah, I got a little patio out back, man. There's some plants back there. But, you know, they're not nothing that I cared about that much. But I just wanted to keep them alive and see, you know, whatever they'll throw. They'll, and they're throwing pods. I mean, you know, we stayed with fresh peppers. But not, not, not I'm not growing enough to, to make my hot sauces and everything like that. But I'm growing enough to... Have us, you know, we can always go outside and get something to snack off. Let me cut this baby in. Oh, it smells good. This, I haven't had a, a, a butch tea with that nice of a pheno yet, so let's get it in us. Usually, I hate to see trees cut down, but Butch Taylor, shout out to Butch T. This is the Butch T Scorpion, folks. Very, very strong flavor. I don't know if I like it. I mean, I think it's... I just bit into the seeds on accident, Ooh. so I've gotten a little bit of bitterness from those, but I like the flavor. It's not bad. Very strong. Very hot. Oh, hit the nose it did. Whew. I haven't had one of them in a couple months, so I forgot what they taste like. Because I've been just picking them. I'll throw a bag, you know, on a Friday or Saturday when I'm done working, I'll throw them in a bag, throw them in the fridge, and um, then, you know, whatever, I'll throw in random peppers in there, and that's fair game. That means when I'm gone away and when I'm at work, she eats them, and so there's always peppers, and uh, so she's been eating the butch, you've been eating the butch tea steady for the whole summer. I hadn't, I, I cut into one. About two, two and a half months ago, and uh, forgot what it tasted like. But now I'm seeing that it's hot. It's Ooh, hot. It's a classic it's right there. Floral. It's got the floralness, bitterness to it. You know, like a scorpion. Um, what? It's better than a maruga, definitely. It's not one of my favorite peppers ever, but I like it. Yeah, it's 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 kicking my butt right now. Woo! It is hot. It's hot. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people, I see people making a big deal about Bushy Scorpions last year and this year. You know, people growing them and stuff. Uh, definitely a screamer, man. Wow. What do you think? I got to get a piece of cheese, guys. I'm what sorry. What does screamer mean? That you're going to start hollering? That's what Johnny Scobo calls it. Yeah. I don't consider it a screamer, but it might build... No, it's burning me bad. I don't really consider many things. I don't. Get, uh, I don't consider anything a screamer though, unless it's like a tin. You know, like the hottest, the hottest peppers ever. They do get me, but like anything below that doesn't really get me. That's a nine right there, or eight. It made me run and get a piece of cheese. I'll tell I you would that. definitely call this eight or nine. My mouth is on fire. I'm just set. I'm just not gonna start Ooh. acting like I'm. Like unable to control my body movements and stuff like I do when I eat the hottest stuff. Mm mm. That baby's hot. Mmm. It's hot. I like to make a sauce with just that. I accidentally sometimes. touched my lips on the placenta, so now they're on fire, but 
go ahead and let it go. You're fine. I'm gonna burn it. Pretty much just everywhere, but not I did not an intense intense pain. It is. I mean, well, I mean it's. It's I mean, it's my painful, right but now. there's I'm something like, my tongue that, is on fire. Ooh. My whole tongue is on fire and my throat. And it is a it is it's a big heat. It's just some of them are like a stabbing heat. It's not quite that. But this one might build and I might start feeling that soon. It's instant for me. Oh well. Chocolate pods and peach pods build with me. This one I would probably call it a nine though. Red pods hit me right off the bat. They build too, but I kicked my butt. Mine is building and building and building. Oh. And hotter and hotter and hotter. And my whole body is hot now. I didn't grow that one. See, mine weren't that hot. And my nose is <laughs> my nose is running a tiny bit. That um that has only happened a couple times in these um, super hot reviews. Would you mind giving me a um, tissue when you're done? I got you. It's not an emergency. It's not a fast run. <laughs> it's not. It's not like coming out of my nose or anything. It's just, sorry, it's not a fun thing to talk about, but it's just something that doesn't happen often to me. So it's showing how hot the pepper is. Here, I get. I don't out of the, the paper. All I got those. I get worried when he hands me this stuff. I was wondering if he like has pepper on his hands. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> Oh. I I would definitely call this like a nine and a half, but I I mean I ate a whole uh, lot of it, a whole lot of it. We just ate a really hot pod before this, so we didn't even come down from that. So yeah, that, that I did a, already have some heat in my mouth. That was a builder, so, uh, and then quite a bit of it, but this one is very hot. To eat a builder and one that hits you quick, wow, that's a double whammy. Yeah, that's true. Next time I'll eat the red pod first. <clears throat> Zach, we've been doing good. We ate the red bootleg, then the chocolate bootleg. We ate the red unreaper, then the chocolate unreaper. This time, we ate the red pod last. That's what it is. Red pods kick in. I don't know what it is, man. As soon as I bite into them, it's, it's instant. This one is very hot and still building. Still building with me. Hasn't For some reason, chocolate pods, look at that tangerine, the tangerine fiend that Nick Camp's grew, man. That thing, I took a piece of it, ate it. I didn't think it was going to do much to me. Now so. the very front of my tongue is hurting the most. It, like a, that throbbing, intense pain I said I didn't have earlier. So I ate another piece of that tangerine fiend. That thing racked me. But, um... Uh, Anyways, yeah, this was throat. this was another one, another one of Nick's pods right there, the Bush tea. Yeah, I even actually sent him a picture and asked him what it was, and he told me, and I was like, "What?" And I feel like taking my clothes off. None I know of it's mine, a hot pepper when I want to do that. None of mine had that pheno. It's weird. It's like some of the phenos, you know. If I don't have the best sunlight, let me guys, let me show you guys. Uh, I'm pulling my pants leg up to get some air in my legs. Like, these are my apocalypse scorpions that I grew. They're, I don't have that many that have the weird, weird pheno. But, these are all different looking. But that one, see, it don't have any tail on it, really. It's a big old son of a gun. I grew that in my work, too. Now I got these two. That's kind of got the scorpion, uh, apocalypse scorpion look to it. And this one has more of a, that classic... Um, I don't know, but anyways, yeah, the Apocalypse Scorpion are... That's super hot. They're kind of, uh... That's definitely a nine and a half. They're kind of all over the place. I had some that looked like death spirals. I had some that looked like red bootlas. And I'm sitting there looking at it and just grab it. And see, a lot of the peppers, um, the tags came out of them or something. So, I just have to know what it is by looking at it. And, you know, I'm, I'm pretty decent at identifying pods you know not not bad but it's like something like that if it's an off you know it's just that throwing one or two pods at a time i'm like what is that you know so butch taylor 
That's the Butch T Scorpion right there. That thing was hot. Mm -hmm. That thing was hot, guys. I'm telling you, I, I forgot the heat level of it because I ain't ate one in two months, like two, two and a half months ago. That's when that I, one hit my stomach. I started little. picking mine, you know, the ones around the house and I, a couple plants at work. I was just like, and, um, and I tried it when I was cutting up peppers, but I was eating so many other peppers I forgot. And then I just, you know, threw them in a, in a ferment and made hot sauce with them. So I forgot. She's been eating them, though. It's the same pepper you've been eating constantly. Usually I eat them with a small <clears throat> meal, though, like cereal or something. Butch T. Scorpion, get there.